One, I know many, many faces here and have for a while, which I'm thankful, and there's new faces I'm happy to see. My name's Eve Lose, and I have been at St. Margaret's with my family for over 20 years, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. When Kevin and I first got married, we were raised two different religions. He was raised Lutheran, I was raised Catholic, and we found that the Episcopal Church in general was a good home for us because we were in Denver when we first tried and came here and found St. Margaret's. And for us, when we were trying to start our family, it was not an easy time and we had difficulties trying to start our family and it was wonderful to have a place like St. Margaret's that was a home and that was somewhere that could help us along as we got to the point where we wanted to, where I've got my three sons and still my wonderful husband and it's one of those things that I needed God's support as we tried to move in that direction and St. Margaret's was that community that was supportive there. And as we started out, there were so many things that, that came along that we found that each week, starting here in, at St. Margaret's and being a part of the sermon and part of the activities was something that would energize and charge the week and help me to start on a right note. And I remember when the boys used to swim, they would like to have swim meets over the weekend. And oftentimes people like to have them on Sunday mornings because it was a convenient time for, for those to happen. And at a meeting, I said, I I'm, understand that it might need to be on a Sunday, but it would be, it be possible to push that into the afternoon. I said, because really, I'd like to be able to do church. And if you have to have it on a Sunday, I understand sometimes that happens, but could we move that so people can do church first. And I had a wonderful friend who was kind and said, Eve, you know, God is okay if you don't go to church every week. And I said, I understand. And I said, and I agree that God's not going to be angry with me if I miss a week or so, but I need to go. It's something that is for me and it's not a box check. It is a reset for my week. And so that was something I realized that I definitely needed to do and as we continued to be here there was such a community and we found that we had people that we could work on things that did work here but things that did work in the community and that was something that was so important to us to be able to do that outreach and have somewhere that had it so organized and so many people that that was where their heart was and that was truly truly St. Margaret's that was there and we found that we encountered people that we would not have known outside of there. And some of those people are people that are no longer with us, that will always be a part of my heart. And I am thankful that I had a chance to encounter and interact and my family had a chance to interact with some of these people. And I'm thinking this is part of what's made St. Margaret so special is how many people it brings together that you might not have known. And yet we continue on and have those wonderful experiences. And we still have so many people that find inspiration in different ways. And I look at different things that have happened and I walk into this building and I know sometimes we need repairs and someone will make a thermometer that says, we need this much money to fix this building. And they do it in a fun way that you see people come together and feel like we can continue to make this place work in a wonderful way. And sometimes I see surprises of things that were done around here that might go without anyone knowing who did it because people love to have this community and want to make sure that it's empowered to do what it can and sometimes that is making sure our building survives and that we have enough money to do that which is great and time talent and treasure is seen every day when you look around this building people are giving of that and that is what makes it such a wonderful place and when we couldn't be together with covid it was so nice to have some people with so many talents and father marco and our wonderful team that put us online because as i said being here each week helps me to reset myself and have that goal and to be able to be removed as we all were was very hard and to be able to reconnect through the sermons and through coffee hour and hear singing and wonderful things like that continued to kind of get us through that and then to come back together and see everybody again and continue to see new people that were having joined the family that is St. Margaret's is exciting and wonderful and so it is a really really exciting time to see that what was here and what is always special continues, yet it is continuing to grow and we're continuing to add to all the wonderful things that we do in this building, in the community and around the world where we even have people across the world like Corinne. It's just a place that touches my heart all the time and I know for my family does and I'm just excited to see opportunities like this and I know stewardship always kind of, you know, <laughs> as we talked about sometimes brings that but it's such a neat opportunity for us to look at that we might even be able to bring some more leadership in to actually do things with the youth and with the children and, and in so many ways around. So I hope that um, 
you'll feel that inspiration. And I hope that everybody feels that same thing each week because it's just a special place and it is a good start to the week. And I hope that's something that everybody shares here. And I love seeing that we're having more people join in that. So thank you. Thanks, Eve. And, and speak, speaking of outreach,